Hi guys, Mimi G here with a monthly makes video. These are all of the things that I managed to make uh, in the month of July. So I didn't have a whole lot of time to sew because as you guys know, we were just married in June, then we went on a honeymoon, then we went on a family moon, and then we got back, we had work and deadlines and things. So I haven't had a ton of time, but I did manage to sew a couple of things. So um, the first thing is actually part of one of my simplicity pattern collections. Um, it's a shirt and top. So what I really love is that the skirt has um, a side button that happens all the way down, right? So the entire thing opens up. So it's not like a full uh, wrap or anything. It actually does button up and it comes, the pattern comes with uh, the skirt and this really cute tie front cami, which I just love. And what's really great is that you can wear them both separately. So I used this beautiful um, linen print Actually, I think Norris might have might have bought this this fabric and then brought it home and then I stole it <laughs> because I really liked it. So I made the skirt. It's amazing. You can see it in the pictures. Um, and then I just wore it with the little white um, cami tie that I made. I think when I first made the pattern uh, for you know for like the pattern envelope. Um, the other thing that I made and I actually got to wear during our family moon in Maui was this beautiful leopard print jumpsuit. This is such an easy pattern, guys. This is a McCall pattern. I'll put the number and stuff and uh, link to the patterns or the blog post with the information of the garment and the pattern in the description box for you guys. But this is so super easy and it looked amazing. What I really love, it's hard to see the details, um, because it's you know a leopard print and it's super busy but if you look at the pictures you can sort of see that it has a really great tie detail um, at the bottom right at the pant leg and it has a really nice sort of sexy opening in the front and it's low in the back and you can tie it or not tie it um, when we were in Maui I wore it without the tie just to be comfortable but as you can see in the pictures I dressed it up a bit and I tied it and wore it with heels and I loved it because I made the entire jumpsuit in like an hour. It's super easy, super fast. Um, and then I just recently posted um, this beautiful dress. So I love this dress. Now I will say that when, when the pattern came out, I ignored it because it didn't really look appealing and the pattern envelope was kind of like, mm, I don't really know if that's going to work for me. But because we were going on vacation, I wanted something that was going to be not on my body, completely loose and flowy and comfortable. So during one of the pattern sales, I picked it up and I made it and then I put it on and I was like, oh, this is kind of sexy. <laughs> so as you can see from the pictures, I have it on with heels and stuff, but um, you can easily wear it with some like bright white sneakers. You guys know I love a good uh, dress and sneaker combo. Um, and I think what makes it sexy is the deep V. Cause it's a line it's loose it's flowing um i did i don't know what view this is but it's in the blog post but whatever view it was that adds the circle skirt bottom so it gave it a really beautiful flounce and made it even flowier but with that deep v-neck it's definitely added some sex appeal and then the last thing that i managed to make uh, in the month of july was this little blue knit dress which I also took um, on vacation with me. And I really love it because it's a front tie, right? So actually this is completely open um, and you just tie it as much or as little as you want. So it's not like a faux tie in the front. Um, it has a higher waist. So what I would consider sort of more of an empire waist, not a huge fan of that, but I knew that going in and I made it anyway and I. I think I added about an inch of length. Otherwise it would have just sat like right under your boob and I don't, I don't like that look. So I just brought it down a little bit more. If I make it again, I'll bring it down even more um, because it just creates this little opening right here, sort of a little cutout and you can lower that so that the cutout just goes a little deeper and it'll be just as cute. This is a rib knit fabric that I got uh, from We Are The Fabric Store. And I think it's in my last fabric haul actually, but I still have one in olive green. But I think for that, I'm going to make a jumpsuit. Cause what I really loved about this fabric is that it feels like a knit, but it works like a woven. And I really love, love that. And it has sort of like this sheen. 
Anyway, guys, that's everything that I made in the month of July. I'm hoping that I can sew a little bit more in the month of August. We will see. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.